Hey everyone, Kwame here. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good day, evening, or night. Insert as appropriate. So today, as you saw by the title of this video, I want to talk about photography as a therapy. So as the release of this video, uh, we unfortunately, but expectedly, had to put down our dog, um, our first dog, our black lab, uh, last Tuesday. And it was, like I said, expected, but kind of unexpected because we didn't realize that day we were going to uh, have to put her down. So it was a bit of a surprise, but she was 15. She had uh, kidney problems. She had some uh, hip problems. So it wasn't like it was a surprise or anything like that. And we could kind of see the writing on the wall. But during this process, I, you know, ahead of time knew and thought, okay, I'm going to take pictures all the way up until the end, especially now that I have the uh, Fuji XF10. You know, this is a great point shoot camera, so this is you know, something I can take with me and, and and you know just document this part of my our lives because as much as it, it sucked and it hurts still to this day, um, death is part of life, and so you know, I, and I wasn't gonna like, capture her body or anything like that, but just like those final moments, like for all of us together and that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I didn't and it's okay like I feel okay with it at first I was upset because I felt like I'm always talking about carrying a camera capturing our moments and documenting our lives but there are times when being present in the moment is what matters most and I did take pictures of her uh, that day because I so kind of give you the backstory we had a doctor's appointment set up because she wasn't eating so we just wanted to check in and also talk about end-of-life situations because we knew it was happening um but we didn't realize it was going to happen that day because her kidney numbers were just not good so once we realized that decision had to be made and we were going to do it i brought her back home so that way uh when our son got off from school got done with school we could go all go there together and you know he could say his goodbyes and that and that and that good stuff so on the way back home i thought okay well i'll take some pictures and like just hang out and stuff like that and but I, I couldn't because, you know, for me, I, I did take it like a couple pictures um, when she got back, but I, I just wanted to spend time and first I was upset with myself because, like I said, I'm a big proponent, proponent of documenting our lives and, um, you know, just, you know, ha have, trying to create, keep these memories. But I also felt, for me personally, it just wasn't worth it like I just I didn't a I didn't want to see those pictures and bring back painful memories um, you know, even if it's like a day from when it happened a year a month you know whatever I figured I might as well just the pictures I have which are many those are good memories and I don't want to spoil it with you know the image of the the catheter in her arm or anything like that in her life so I didn't and you know what it's okay like it's it's all right i if you know when we're going through stuff any kind of trauma or tragedy it's okay not to create pictures like it's okay to put the camera away it's okay to just take a picture or two and then just be in the moment where the camera has been helpful is um just getting out of the house and taking pictures um and being more mindful we still have a second dog and you know a kid and so life goes on and you know you don't stop or anything like that and so getting out of the house and just doing things and being active uh, but even like if it's raining and i want to get some macro pictures of dew drops well i will go do that and just that has been helpful versus sitting around thinking about uh this loss and, and this this hole that we have in our family and of course it's going to mend and um, we still have another dog who's 14 and we have a fish and then our parents are also like you know, like I said earlier in the video death is part of life but for me and I'm guessing for a lot of you the camera can be a form of moving meditation it can be a form of therapy you know it's a great way to just at least for me if I'm out taking pictures you know I'm just I leave everything that's troubling or all the pain and grief that I've been feeling I leave it behind. I'm just in the moment taking pictures. And when I say pain and grief, it's not crippling or anything. It's just every now and again you think of her or you do something and you remember this time that you know something happened. But also this is the first dog we've ever lost. And so it was, 
it was more jarring than I thought because again, we've known for about a year that this was probably gonna happen. So if you're going through grief or you're going through something of, or any kind of loss and you are a photographer and watching this video, just know A, it's okay not to take pictures. Like you don't have to take pictures in those moments. You can, like, and I encourage you if you feel comfortable doing, do it, but you don't have to. And two, if you are grieving and you do just like if you're just stuck and you're like always in the house or always doing the same thing get out with your camera and just take some pictures just go for a walk with your camera like you don't even have to take a single picture but just going for a walk it, you know helps us get out of our out of our way and get out of our mind and into our heart and i know it sounds a woo wooey but it really does like just getting out with your camera and you're just looking again you may never take a single picture but just the, the act of being present trying to create something or not create anything or just being out you know is is a good way to get your mind off of all the things going on in our lives i hope you found this video helpful if you have please hit that like and subscribe button it really does help me out i also have affiliate links down below to all the gear that i use only reason why i say that is because i'm a small channel and so anything you buy on there really does help me out it doesn't cost you anything extra and if you really are struggling with grief or um, any kind of depression or anything like that, please get professional help. You know, there are services out there. Reach out to a friend. Leave a comment down below. You know, I can't help everybody. You know, I'm trying to figure this life out myself. We all have one life, uh, you know, that we're all trying to figure out. So I may not be the best person, but, you know, get in touch with someone. Hopefully they can help you through this. As always, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye bye.